I think that in the built environment, we are suffering from a suppression of our physiology. I have to be careful here about not going over the top, but we're suffering from a suppression of our physiology via mitochondria that is just being produced by the built environment. And a point that I really need to make here, because I, I now spend a lot of time talking to architects. I spend more time talking to architects than I do talking to uh, ophthalmologists or medics. You put a building up, invariably the majority of the phases of that building will go over budget. It's rare for a building to come in under budget. The last thing to go into a building is the lighting. It is the very last that goes in after the glass. Okay, where do you take your cut on your overexpenditure? You take your cut on the lighting, you buy the cheapest LEDs you can, and the cheapest LEDs have got the restrict, restricted spectrum. So, and to add insult to injury on this, to retain thermal regulation of the building, all commercial buildings and you know, all big buildings now, not domestic ones, will invariably have infrared blocking glass. So, you get the first hit on the fact that your LEDs are pretty awful, undermining your mitochondria. The second is you're isolated from the visual world outside by the infrared blocking glass. This, this is a double hit. And I think that double hit is, is quite significant. Now we have had uh, a major, probably one of the world's largest architects firms that have just won a very big contract in the USA for a hospital walk through the door and say, what, what is this about healthy lighting? And I know they're putting their money on the table on this one because they have a vast area where all their architects sit 